I'm Tal Ronan, I'm the chef at Crossroads in Los Angeles. So the Impossible Burger came to life um, through a gentleman named Pat Brown. Pat was a scientist at Stanford and took a sabbatical because he wanted to work on advancing plant-based foods. Plant-based alternatives for meat are important, especially for someone following a standard Western diet or most people here in America because they think that meat is synonymous with protein. And in fact, people get protein from plants all over the world. In Mexico, black beans, South America, quinoa, Asia, soy, India, lentils. To a lot of people, that might sound a little scary. So making protein in a familiar format to them is uh, something that I think more and more Americans are looking for. The key ingredient is called heme. It's like a plant-based blood. It's similar to myoglobin in your blood. And that's done through fermentation. And that's what gives the burger that really meaty, irony flavor. You treat it just like meat. You could cook it medium, rare. You could cook it well done. We serve our burger uh, very much the way you would get it at a fast food restaurant in Southern California. That special sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, side of pickles and french fries. Well, now we're cooking with the burger as we would with ground beef. It comes to us in five pound blocks and we're able to treat it like ground beef. So we're making meatballs, cigars. It's just fun to be able to recreate those textures and flavors. Even though our restaurant is plant-based, we don't use meat in the restaurant at all. We never have. 90% of our guests are not even vegetarians. So having the Impossible Burger has been great to kind of bridge the gap for the people who might not want to be here. They were brought here by their wives or, you know, the diehard carnivores that never thought they would like it here and taste the burger um, leave as, as the biggest impossible fans. The environmental impact of eating such a um, meat-centric diet like we do in America is a catastrophe for greenhouse gas emissions. You add up all the water, all the grain that goes into raising one pound of beef. It's just not sustainable to eat meat three times a day, seven days a week. You can have a much greater impact on the environment um, by following a plant-based diet, or even partially, than driving a Prius. Um, and that's, that's a fact.